guys, Silly Tuck here, and we are back, and finally we are back with the tribute to Rowdy Roddy Piper show. Um, because as you guys know, or you might not, or whatever, um, Rowdy Piper has died in this game. Not not in real life. It's okay. It's okay. I know I confuse people, but uh, yeah. Where are we gonna be tonight? In the NY Blue Cross Arena. There we are. Lovely. And so, let's run the show. There are three pre-show matches on tonight's card. Uh, this opening one where Bully Ray defeats Bram. You know, just trying to get Bully Ray more momentum. Um, Syndicate defeating the Wolves. Drew McIntyre beats Davey Richards with a the move. With a the move. With a what da 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 um, finally in a D, Loki pretty much just kills Kenny King. Anyway, so open up the night, you know, Kurt Angle comes down and talks about all of his fondest memories of Roddy Piper and watching, uh, I guess we're not going to call it WrestleMania 1, uh, we'll call it Mania 1, whatever, yeah. Watching at the first Mania when, you know, him and Paul Orndorff took on Hulk Hogan and Mr. T and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so just a neat little way to open up the show. And then, boom, kicking right off. We have The Hopeless, um, versus Adam Cole and the Motor Scene Machine Guns. And Adam Cole defeats the Gallo with a super kick, winning the match for his team. I really like how that says, like, The Hopeless and then Jimmy Jacobs, Abyss, and the Gallo. I really like that. Uh, so then Austin Aries comes down to the ring. And pulls basically the exact same promo that Kurt Angle did. And you remembered how he was a kid. And how he would, you know, watch wrestling. And, you know, Roddy Piper was a major figure. That's the last one of these for tonight. Because I was going to make that like a big thing. And I decided to go against it. Uh, so we got next. So we have uh, Gail Kim and Awesome Kong going at it for the Knockouts Championship. And Gail Kim retains her title with a C. Hmm. Interesting. Um, so, MVP, Mr. Anderson, go back and forth in the ring with insults. You know, the casual stuff. You don't deserve that title, but I deserve that title. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You know, generic, normal wrestling stuff. Um, yeah. I don't know. This storyline is weird for me because it's I want to do more with it, but it's such a basic concept. So I don't really know what to do with it. Anyways, uh, Match had some good action. Average she MVP defeated Mr. Anderson by pinfall. 13-15 by pinfall. What? Oh, no, that sounded weird. Uh, he used the rope for the leverage. MVP makes defense number two. And then they brawl to the back, being the people that they are. Um, and then, in this match, Magnus just defeats Austin Aries, and once again, he pulls another promo that says, I have squashed everybody in this company. I am Magnus. I will kill all. Ha, 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 ha. You know, normal stuff. Just, once again, building up to the return of Samojo. And so, with good action, average heat, Jeff Hardy. All alone, because Matt Hardy wasn't available for tonight's show. Short notice show, I know. I only booked it, like, last minute, whatever. He defeated the Bromans in 1309 when Jeff Hardy defeated Jesse by pinfall with a quick roll-up. And then up next with a C, um, Spud makes defense number two of his X-Division title with a Spud Salt against Matt Cy Dahl. Um, what do we got here? Oh, yeah. So, backstage, you know, Taz talking to Jeff Hardy about how big it is that he just, you know, outlasted two other men to win the Royal Rumble. Ah! Actually, I was like, just seriously speaking, though, that was one of the worst Royal Rumbles I've ever seen on Sunday. Well, this is Sunday. One week ago, I guess, today. But, God. Why in Philly? Like, of all places, like, it wouldn't have been this big of a deal if they didn't do it in Philly. Like, I'm sorry to go kind of off-topic here from TNA, but... Jesus. The booking decisions at that pay-per-view, it seems like the writer's team, like, light their, like, scripts on fire, and they're like, eh, do whatever you want. And they come up with the stupidest crap. 
like literally though, if they had done this anywhere other than Philly, I wouldn't have had a single problem with it going on. But it's the fact that the people in Philly pointed out to me that well, he's he's not ready. Like I don't think he will ever be ready. I don't think Roman Reigns can single handedly carry the company. He's not a good wrestler, he's not good on the mic, he has the look. Like and I guess I was gonna say he's like Hulk Hogan, but he's not, because Hogan was amazing on the mic. And Hogan was a decent wrestler. Like I don't know. It it just shows once again Vince look Vince looks no, Vince likes big guys. Like jeez, Vince McMahon will push anybody who's been on steroids. Like ah, don't understand this company sometimes, man. Anyways, and now finally in our main event. And about the featured great action average sheet, James Storm defeated Bobby Roode in 1431 by pinfall after using a foreign object. And James Storm has won the TNA World Heavyweight title. And so, of course, we go off the air with boos and stuff because, you know, James Storm is the heel. And he did it. But we'll have a rematch next week-ish area at our pay-per-view. Whatever it's called. Shut up. Don't, don't question me. Uh, yeah, so what'd that get? Okay, or not. What'd that get? We lost popularity in one region. A what now? Okay, well, I'll make a speech then. I'm gonna tell... I'm gonna tell Magnus that, uh... I'm gonna tell Magnus he could have done better. I'm gonna have to tell James Storm... That, uh, praise on a great performance. And I'm just gonna say to, uh, oh, I wish I could go back there and look at that. Um, I don't know, I'll say, uh, whatever, like, you know what, yeah, Jeff Hardy can be pointed out as a good example. Make speech. Magnus didn't care, yeah, whatever, kid. You'll care in a little bit when I bury you. <laughs> James Storm seemed pleased, and Jeff Hardy seemed pleased. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, well, you know the drill, guys. I'll see you in a second. All right, we're back. Um, decisions and stuff. All right. Ring of Honor Road to Glory. Oh, sorry, Glory by Honor. Ring of Honor Glory by Honor. Lovely. Um, <clears throat> well, they did really well. Anything cool to report? Nothing really, no. So if you heard that in the background, that's just my dog. Hi. Hi, sweets. Hi. Um, okay, the tribute to Rowdy Roddy Piper show was quite good. And we even had a title chain sans, so I think that's just quite a good little thing to have in there. It's been great and it's drawn a lot of praise. Yeah, it's, that's something I can be happy about. OVW Saturday Night Special did horrible, as usual. Am I supposed to be surprised? Uh, what was that? Oh, nothing. Uh, wow, a lot of people have morale issues. Wow. Wow. Holy crap. Wow. Jeez, all these people care that, like, they weren't on that one program? Uh, ODB. I'm gonna let ODB go. I'm, I'm just telling you guys straight up right now. I'm not interested in keeping her around i'm just gonna give djz a bonus because i need him around for a little bit i'm not interested in keeping her around um incident involving matt seidel matt seidel has been identified as a soft drug user oh my god What? what oh my god uh yeah i've got a stern warning him i'll try not to get caught in the future oh my god i have to drop him i have to drop him whoa holy crap um how what how whoa dude 
Oh my god, does anybody else see that? Paul White will be available to start work tomorrow. Da -de -da -de -da 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 -da, which is lovely, because, like, seriously, like, god, yes. Now my only problem is, I need to find people to boost up the X Division and the Knockouts Division. Brooke Hogan isn't even an entering wrestler, is she? No, screw it, whatever. Uh, of course she isn't. Well, you know what, guys? Yeah, that's all I can say. God damn, seriously, Matt? Wow, dude. Wow, guys, that's like... Crazy. Crazy, crazy stuff. Anyways. I don't know. Leave in the comments what I should do about Matt Seidel. Do I fire him? Do I keep him around? I don't know. Whatever. Let me know what you think in the comments. Silly Tuck. Out.